Hey guys, in case you hadn't heard, Droppy's now fully independent, which means we need your support to help us pay the bills every month. And the best way to do that, go to patreon.com slash Droppy. And who knows, maybe there's even rewards you can get. Go there now, patreon.com slash Droppy, the best website of all time. Bye. Welcome to Drop, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And today, we are combining two great tastes that taste great together, Hollow Knight and Dark Souls. Mm. Wow. Um, you got Dark Souls in my Hollow <laughs> you Knight. You got Hollow Knight in my Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, it's tasty. <laughs> Um, we decided to do both Hollow Knight in the style of Dark Souls and Dark Souls in the style of Hollow Knight, depending on the artist and what they wanted to do. Nathan, you're up first. You did a... I, I did a Dark Souls in the style of Hollow Knight. Yes. Do you want to tell us which character you chose? I chose Gravelord Nito. Oh, he's the skulls. <laughs> Nito. He's a, he's a real mess of skulls. Yeah. And do you want me to kick this off and you can discuss? And I can talk about it. All right. Three, two, one, Go. So Nito is a big mess of skulls, but everything in Hollow Knight is bugs. Yes. So I decided to make Nito a big mess of bugs instead. <laughs> Good. That's a logical, That's awesome. a logical decision. <laughs> um, so the thing about Hollow Knight is it's got such a beautiful style to it. And I was like, oh, it'll be simpler than trying to do a Dark Souls style. <laughs> but it's like deceptively simple. But yeah. then you drew a five thousand bugs. I drew, yeah. drew a room full of bugs. I drew a bunch of bugs. <laughs> um, I know that Nito doesn't have sleeves. He just sort of has a cloak that I don't know how is attached to him. It's just sort of like hair follicles coming off the back. Yeah, I think it's just like dark, gross energy. Um, we all have that kind of. Yeah, so I didn't. Sometimes. I didn't do <laughs> that. Uh, I just gave him a cloak because everything in Hollow Knight has cloaks. Yeah, totally. Hell yeah. Uh, and Nathan, your canvas flip gave me a a, a bit of panic because I just thought I did not canvas flip mine, and I'm terrified on how it would look. Yours looked good. Well, thank you. <laughs> when you canvas flipped. <laughs> Well, Julia, I can promise you we're not going to flip it in this video, so you're safe. No yeah. one canvas flip my thing. Yeah, I think. <laughs> You uh, cheeky little viewers, you're going to do it. <laughs> Don't be a drip, never flip. <laughs> so most of these bugs are just sort of the basic bugs you fight against because I, I tried to keep that true to the, the Nito design where he, you know, the first enemies you fight in Dark Souls are just regular old skeletons and yeah. Nito's just a whole bunch of those. Um, but I, I, I did throw in a few... Uh, bug face shapes from the audience in the uh, Coliseum of Fools because I like those bug faces. That's a fun touch. Um, and I also made his sword um, a, like a bug mandible because it's kind of a bone sword in, in Dark Souls. Yeah, it's a big bone sword. And most of the, the weapons in Hollow Knight are either just appendages or some sort of nail type thing. Yeah. And so I figured I'd go with the um, the bone the bone angle. I like it. I feel like this is looking really really good so far. Thank you. Yeah, it took me a while. Uh, it took me I think around four hours of drawing, and then a whole bunch more time of just thinking about it. Wow. And I had a few false starts as well. Art be hard sometimes. It was. <laughs> You know, I I wasn't expecting this one to be as challenging as it was, but I I put a lot of pressure on it because I I really wanted to do a good job, and I think I did an okay job. I think you've done a very good job so yeah. far. Yeah, it looks unless great. you really like shit the bed towards the end. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure how much to render it because there's there's very subtle shading in Hollow Knight. Um, some of the, some of the enemies are, are like no shading and some have very subtle shading. Yeah. And I knew that cause it's very busy inside the, the mess of bugs. So I knew I, <laughs> <laughs> I knew I wanted to, uh, do some shading in there just to sort of get, get them all together. 
yeah a little cohesive a little cohesive sort of look design yeah there's our friend the hollow knight there's the there's he's the, knight. the hollow knight he's the knight <laughs> he's the vessel he's the knight the vessel isn't that what he's called the mm, vessel the vessel yeah yeah um yeah i sort of wanted to make this look like a, a scene out of the game like you 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 do the because you in uh in dark souls you sort of go off a drop and then neato just sort of emerges from the darkness yeah so i sort of wanted to do that I thought about making mine like a scene from the game, and that's another thing that I gave up on too. I gave up on a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Jacob gave up. Sometimes you got to give up. Apparently, he's most commonly referred to as the knight. The knight. That's what I but was saying. But isn't he referred to in the game as the vessel at some point, or am I? There is a character, the vessel. And There's I think the broken vessel. There's the broken vessel. But he he is a vessel. Yeah. yeah. Let's not. Let's not forget. Also, yeah. I um, I know that the limbs, everyone's limbs in the game are are usually just uh, black. Um, but I was like, I want it to be more sort of skeletony here. Oh, yeah. So I use the color that the um, the corpse creepers in Deep Nest, which is what happens when you like kill these guys and they come back as monsters with spikes. Yeah, I use that color. That makes sense. But you'll see later. I I change my mind and I go back and I change it all to black anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's you got to try things out sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know I don't even know what's better cuz I think it looks fine like this. I think it looks okay the other way too. Sometimes it's just a matter of how you feel in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. <laughs> just be like that. Oh, and I see you're going after trying to capture sort of the look of the environment work, the environment. Yeah. What I'm interested to see is if you ran into the same problem I did, which is <laughs> that you tried to start painting it because that's how it looks in the game. And yeah. then you give up. Uh, I, I, I think I just did a, a, a worse version. I did. <laughs> I think I did a passable version, but it if you compared it side to side with the game, you would see that it's not as beautifully painted as the game hey at least you gave it the old college try i'd give it a try <laughs> i think that's pretty cool i think you know i'm i just used soft brushes i didn't use any sort of painted there's painted so brushes. many similarities in the way you and i approached uh <laughs> kind of the whole thing it'll be fun to watch mine after this and yeah, see. it's just it's such a pleasant art style and i this is an homage to it i don't think it's a perfect replication but it was fun to try yeah totally um, and like if you really look at the backgrounds of hollow knight they are they're beautiful detailed. they're detailed yeah exactly i was because I, I was considering doing a different boss but that one would have to have been an, an inside one and i i didn't want to have to draw the structures Ooh, yeah i like that fog you put so yeah. here i go i, I change it all Nathan, to this is so cool i change it all to black yeah that's really cool yeah that looks um, so good so yeah that's my one that's my neato i feel like you captured it really well aka mess of bugs yeah this neato is neato bazinga got him <laughs> <laughs> she got you, dude. Thank you. <laughs> she got you with a Thanks compliment. Thanks for getting me. <laughs> yeah, this rules. Excellent job. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll go next. We'll get we'll get the the Hollow Knight styles Hollow Knight's out first. of the way, yeah, and, and then then Souls is second. Souls is second. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm up now, and the character that I chose to do was Artorius. <laughs> Artorius of the abyss. He's the one that everyone sort of knows. He's like the wolf knight guy. He's got the cool blue cloak and the the, the shadow face and the big ponytail. I always think Artorius oh, is yeah. the name of the dog. So I got very excited to see a Hollow Knight dog. <laughs> That's Whoa. Sif. Bug dog. Yeah, That's Sif. Sif the great gray wolf. Yeah, I always confuse it. And Bug Art dog. But they are tied together because yeah. Artorius and Sif are, are partners for life. That's why. They're married. They're, they're married. <laughs> they're married. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start playing this and then I'll discuss it. Three, two, one, go. So I'm doing Artorius, which actually has a lot of connections to Hollow Knight. Like there's a lot of similarities. Artorius was um, essentially like the you of the game. Oh, like he was basically fighting the abyss and was an honorable knight and eventually was corrupted by it. So he's kind of reminiscent of like 
the broken vessel type of character or the hollow knight himself, like a, a version of you that succumbed, you know? Yeah. I has, love these long limbs. Yeah. Uh, and Artorius is very gangly. He's very hunchy and he's very just sort of like brutal and violent. So, um, yeah, I found a, a pose I liked really quickly. This is kind of his uh, signature pose from Dark Souls, this hunched over one dangling arm. He has like a messed up arm that doesn't work. And um, I gave him like the bug helmet up top with the real eyes underneath. So he's yeah. like wearing another mm. bug's mask. That's cool. Because um, Artorias in Dark Souls kind of just goes around murdering <laughs> stuff. He just goes around murdering. <laughs> yeah. When you see him, he's already like been corrupted by the abyss. And to, to represent that here, I gave him like the orange infection oh, yeah. pustules. That's good. Um, to show that he's been like infected by the the thing that's infecting hollow yeah. nest. I was considering doing a, a pustules on, on my Nido, but I, I decided against it. You went for a no pustules. I went, look. I went no pus. That's fine. <laughs> no pus, no prob. <laughs> um, I also no realized no halfway through doing this that there's an abyss in hollow Knight as well. Dark souls and hollow Knight both have an area called the abyss. Yeah. Um, so I was kind of able to draw from that inspiration too. Um, going for like the big chunky cloak lines, yeah, like you did, Nathan, as well. All the Hollow Knight clo cloaks, <laughs> cloaks, all the Hollow Knight cloaks <laughs> are just like big chunky Line, lines. Yeah, I think they're they're very cool. They're looking. so good to look at. Yeah. What? Um... Oh shit! I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't not think of. Uh, he, uh, hearing that British esque voice Jacob just did, and picturing <laughs> that Jacob has a like a speed run channel, but instead of speed runs, it's speed draws. She's like, hello, welcome to my speed draw channel. I'm gonna show you how to draw Hollow Knight Cloaks. Show you how to try <laughs> Hollow Knight Cloaks. Cloaks. Brush. What you're gonna wanna do here is. Brush was the end of the sentence I was. No, I'm saving. Oh, what, oh no, first save. First what, save. What wow. brush are you using to ink this is my uh, question. It's actually just the usual brush I use, which is the uh, Kyle Webster Inkbox Pro Comics Inker number Ooh. one. Um, I just made it chunkier. Nice. Because Hollow Knight's got big chunky lines. Big chunky lines. Classic Jacob clean as yeah. hell ink. <laughs> clean as hell shapes and ink. Well, Hollow Knight works out well for that because it's got big chunky clean inks on the characters. Yeah. Um, so it kind of worked out in that sense. And I was going for more of like a cutscene look yeah. rather than a in-game. I was originally going to do in-game. Then I decided to do sort of like you come on the area and there's a short cutscene where he like drops down. Oh, that's fun. Uh, kind of idea. Um, I pause for a while here. <laughs> it, to marvel I, at your... <laughs> I start thinking about the background and I'm like, oh my God, I have to do a background. Then I just really have to like... I think I was looking up reference for a long time of like different Hollow Knight aspects. Yeah, because there's so many... There, there's such a, a wide variety of, uh, of, of backgrounds in the game. Like you don't think about it a ton while you're playing, but they're they're there. Yeah. And right there, I just desaturated all the colors a bit mm -hmm. because everything in the game is pretty desaturated, especially the abyss stuff is kind of like drained of color. Um, so I was going for the sort of bug pile of corpses. Oh, that's a good bug pile. In the abyss, there's like <laughs> uh, the masks are sort of like you can see them like in like big piles everywhere, like all the corpses of previous vessels. Yeah. Um, so I was going for that and I was originally going to try to like really do it up. <laughs> and I realized very quickly how long that would take. And so I sort of cheat it, as you'll see. I'm a cheater. I'm a bit of an art cheater. Uh, I'll do it. Because I just don't want to take all my whole life. Everyone who does art is an art cheater yeah. in some way. Yeah. So I start out trying to sort of figure out, like, to rough out, like, how it might look if I were to, like, really sort of try to paint it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, <laughs> I could do, like, a big brush like that, and that could look pretty good. I'm like, but I could just not do that at all. I, I think I try actually one more time with an even that looks like a so brave. An even sketchier brush, and I was just gonna try to like give it a a sketch attempt. Um, yeah, I I just give up on that because I knew it was <laughs> gonna take too much time, and you know this isn't. I'm not making actual art for the game. This is for fun. <laughs> this is for fun. This is for you know a few minutes in an internet video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Seven minutes in heaven of watching this video. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I instead just kind of did what I normally do, which is just big chunky shapes uh, to kind of get the impression of everything. 
Oh, that's cool. Um, everything's very dark right now. I do um, make that better, <laughs> so don't worry about that because I don't want it to be just a pitch black composition. But the abyss is really dark. And oh, it just has like weird spooky highlights. Is the abyss the place with saw hell? No. Oh, okay. Path of pain. The abyss is the place that's almost all black and it's full of corpses and the ghosts are all there. The black ghosts, spirit ghosts. Um, you I clearly are not remember. remembering at all what I'm talking about. <laughs> nope. Um, so yeah, I added in fog sort of like you did, Nathan. Yeah. And then high lit the limbs. So that's they'll cool. pop out. Oh, and, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, dude. Because that just always looks nice. That just looks nice. And then got an orange oh, glow yeah. for the, the infection. The radiance. Yeah, I would say this took me probably like two hours, three hours, I think. It wasn't uh, the fastest and also not the slowest. We both did bug piles for ours. <laughs> yeah, my bug pile was not nearly as detailed. Well, your bug pile was the background and my bug pile was the character. Yeah. I do like the way you did your bug pile with that very gentle glow. Yeah, this is yeah, cool. Yeah, that was a nice touch. Thank you. I thought it looked nice. And I actually ended up putting a blur on them as well, which makes them kind of recede a bit more into the background, which I yeah. thought looked cool. Ooh. And also what they do in Hollow Knight. Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> and they really get back in there. That's uh, literally I just... what I did with my background is just copied assets from the foreground and blurred them and desaturated yep. them <laughs> that's pretty much what i did <laughs> just to make it like hint at big big bug piles big bug. i mean this looks like a big bug pile i'm happy with how it ended up looking in the end i think it's like a fun piece yeah this is great even if it's not totally in the complete hollow knight background style i just like l looking at because i had to look at so much hollow knight stuff for this challenge and that that art style just sparks the imagination totally it's all got a, a big vibe it to just it. makes me want to <laughs> design a million characters in that style definitely because it makes it it does make you seem like anyone could do it like it, it's accessible looking yeah and then as soon as you get into it you're like uh-oh uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> turns out this is not as accessible as i thought uh but yeah that's mine it's Beautiful, it's beautiful, so cool. Thank you. beautiful bugs. Thank you I love very this much. pose. Yeah, I love this scene. I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Karina. You're next. I'm next. All right, Karina. Who did you do? Oh, so, I'm not a gamer, <laughs> and I'm very unfamiliar with both of these games. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's fair. But I did Hornet, Hornet Hollow Knight, Hornet <laughs> Hollow Knight. <laughs> In, in, the, in the Dark Souls. The Dark Souls. <laughs> Hornet Silk Song <laughs> And I did my best summer. with what little I know. <laughs> I mean, I think that'll be fun to see, like what your sort of interpretation is as someone who's not yeah. gotten deep into at least one of these games. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to count you off. Three, two, one, go. So uh, that's my little reference for myself. And I was trying to design her as a knight. Cause that makes sense. It does and make sense. Jacob yeah. recommended me a character to like look at for reference, and I immediately forgot who it was. So <laughs> we're just going off nothing. You're just doing your own. Dang I just thing. looked up Dark Souls Knight and went for it. So here I am working out a That's pose. A damn good pose. That's yeah, good gesture. Really good, like torso turn. Thank yeah, thank and you. Musculature going. And on. then trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. So gotta have. All them cloaky type things. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Tatters. I do love just for the character, the shape of the cloaky type things. And then I was like, what if more cloak? <laughs> and I don't have to draw <laughs> yes, the left arm. Classic artist trick. Welcome to the part where I just do lots of, um, and that's where I save. <laughs> where I save. Um, just moving things around because I decided I didn't want to draw them. So I added more cloak so I didn't have to draw one arm. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> and then did some fabric drawing because fabric. I decided <laughs> one pauldron above the cloak. <laughs> Only one. Only one. So Every I don't have to draw the other. Everybody gets one. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the cloak action looks so cool. Thank like the way you, you know. made the cloak like look so energetic. It look, yeah. yeah, it looks like a burst. And then I yeah. kind of lost the pose under the cloak and had to refine it. And then I was like, 
no, thank you. <laughs> You're an axe. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to zoom just it just in. Make the, yeah. <laughs> so I don't have to get draw the, the lower the legs. Get out of there. <laughs> and so Genius. Here's just me trying to figure out the helmet. Yeah, and in, I just In Dark it. Souls, the characters hardly ever you can <laughs> yeah. see all of them on screen. So I'm just like, this is a helmet. And I, I read that she was a sp- she's like spider. So... I, I saw in Dark Souls they have a lot of slits and stuff, spoopy slits. So I gave oh, her totally. more slits. Eight, in fact. Oh, nice. The perfect <laughs> number. And a lot of this is just going to be me um, inking. <laughs> this is fascinating. Just oh. like the, the shaping in in the cloak, these, you, these tiny shapes that almost look like guidelines for shadows. Like it looks so cool. Yeah, it does look really cool. Do you always just go full gut instinct when I uh, draw fabrics? So this one was is kind of all over the place. It's the front f- makes a lot of sense, and then it kind of goes a little crazy. So much fabric. <laughs> no one is looking at all of it at once. Okay. Like the fabric in the back just has to be like some some wiggle. Yeah, lines. like that's all you. Need. I mean, I do, I do that. Oh, I, and she's got her little helmet from the game on her. I thought that made wrist. sense to do. That's, That's good. Fun. But I didn't do much with the legs because they were going to get lost in the shading <laughs> anyway. So artist hacks no don't one do more than you need to. likes drawing legs. <laughs> Just zoom in to the face. That's yeah. a real yeah. artist Keep hack. Zooming. Just real close up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, in Hollow Knight, the legs are usually just little perfectly black like twigs. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, I don't want to put too much stuff there. I like that it's simple. And then I just didn't draw them at all. <laughs> so that's the the least amount of stuff you yeah. could have put. And then here's a little sword. Little I sword love guy. how much you rotate the canvas when you draw. Yeah, you got it's very it. Interesting. <laughs> For some reason, I will like contort my body into any position <laughs> to avoid rotating. You the could canvas. just hit R. <laughs> I know, but instead, I'll like crane my elbow up over my head and turn <laughs> my whole head like I'm eating a taco. As a side note, I get asked a lot why I do this stuff and like why I make it red. And this is just me masking in where I'm going to color. So I don't have to deal with all those edges later. I can just do it all at once. Um, And I just choose red because if you're on, you know, default black or white, it's on the red window (laughs) in Photoshop. So so it's just like that's the most accessible color. (laughs) Yeah, it's just there. I just hit whatever's there. (laughs) (laughs) There's no real rhyme or reason to it. I'm just masking in the color more than anything so that I can just opacity lock it and just slap down some colors and not deal with those outside edges that's a nice treat yeah i never draw anything that has this many lines (laughs) (laughs) so it's usually pretty easy for me to fill (laughs) yeah i was just like i'm not even gonna bother closing this up we're painting it in screw it yeah you can't you couldn't tell um with how sped up this is, but I was kinda uh, playing Pokemon while drawing at that <laughs> point. <laughs> so there's like little pauses. <laughs> you say you're not a gamer. Yeah. You were I'm a micro Pokemon breaks gamer. <laughs> to breed pogies. <laughs> Gotta get those shinies. Yeah, People are gonna so, be mad. So here's here's things. Um here's where I'm trying to figure out how to shade, cause Dark Souls has a lot of just like hella deep shading. I don't yeah. know. It's very it's very contrasty, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and then I was like, oh, that's hard. <laughs> Cause I was like, I, I spent so much time <laughs> drawing this fabric. I'm gonna lose it all <laughs> if I'm not careful. <laughs> so I did some like not terribly deep shell cell shading and then gave it a little glow i don't know why i did that honestly but it's there now <laughs> and um it's cool <laughs> and then i was just trying to figure out how how i should lift the lights this is giving me like 90s anime vibes <laughs> yeah like a 90s that's anime true movie. i was trying really hard for dark souls and i just ended up with 90s anime but you know what It'd it's be like, like some that. ninja scroll i couldn't energy. figure it out so i decided to just do this step instead um because i figured instead of the thread it would be like fire 
Oh, cool. I don't know if that's a huge thing, but I saw some I saw some art with it. The fire is, Hi, is I'm a big your thing. clueless mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Dark Souls is, but here's some fire. Oh, this but it is, looks so rad. I mean, it's <laughs> definitely like a Samurai X poster I see <laughs> at New York City Comic Con where I'm like, damn, that's that's dope though. And then I was just trying to figure out the lighting again. Oh, this looks so cool. It really does look like an, an anime poster <laughs> I would have had in my room. Yeah, I was too coward cowardly to go full, you know, deep dark shadows. So I, I went close. Yeah, well, I mean, I yeah. think we all chickened out in some way, <laughs> yeah. shape, or form, except maybe Julia, who yeah. worked for like five hours on hers. Because <laughs> yeah. I think this one took me about four. It's so good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really love the... Every time I see in art, like the foreground particle elements, like, I think that looks so cool. Like the blurred foreground fire gives it so much like depth and like Thank movement. You. It's something I've always wanted to emulate and I've never managed to do well. I feel like well. I rush this a little. It sounds silly to say that, but a lot of the light work on this was just adjustment layers. But I feel like Shout as long as the result layers. is cool, then yeah. like, who cares? Yeah. Like, I could have done more, but then I just did adjustment layers and I was like, this looks good as is. Just make it look cool enough and no, <laughs> yeah. one, will, no one will mind yeah. is the lesson here. Mm. As long as someone's first thought is, oh, that's rad. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> yeah. You're done with your work and you can stop. Pencils down. Hello. Uh, awesome job, Karina. This is yeah. great. Thank you. All right, Julia. <laughs> final Me. drawing. Me. Tell us what you've done. I did uh, Quirrell and uh, made him a Dark Souls. He's the little Hollow Knight guy who like he's the maps man. Helps you out? No, he's, that's Cornifer. That's oh. Cornifer. I originally was you were going, originally going to do him. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what happened was that I was going to do Cornifer. I did an entire drawing for Cornifer, and then I decided I didn't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so I started over. That's a mood. Uh, wow. And then I did Quirrell instead, and he's the uh, forgetful wanderer guy who you can usually find sitting on benches, just oh, chilling out. Oh, that guy's he's great. He's got a little bit of a belly, and I love him. Yeah, and he's got like his little sword. And he, he helps, helps yeah, you. Yeah, he wears the mask on top of his head. Yeah. He, he helps you fight that one boss. The, yeah. The jellyfish. The jellyfish, thing. electric jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah, because he gets summoned, and he doesn't know why, but he is like told to go out you know, to this area for some reason. And he's trying to figure out what it is and then he finds out. But yeah, I did quarrel. All right, I'm gonna count you <laughs> off. Sure. Three, two, one, go. So I think uh, we keep joking about how long it took me, but it's really that I had, I was very busy the day that I started this one and it actually took me four and a half hours, which is longer than I usually take on these things. <laughs> but I was having fun slash struggles slash I want to figure this out uh, deal going on. So I drew him in the City of Tears mm -hmm. um, oh in one of the train stations because <laughs> I love those yeah. signs. You can already Fucking see where flexing. the complication has come in. <laughs> <laughs> on a full background. <laughs> I also uh, tried to do like a lineless painting to give it more of a, of a Dark Souls oh. feel, which was uh, bad. It was bad for Julia. <laughs> And yet, <laughs> it takes so long to do lineless. Uh, I had a, a period in college for like three years where I did lineless work, so I feel like I have a method down, but it's still not fun to try to do a, a full painting without lines. But yeah, I tried to convert his outfit into sort of like a Dark Souls thing. He has um those little like you know uh, bug lines on his tummy. Mm -hmm. And I tried to convert those into like the padded medieval armor yeah, totally. that they have. And uh, I tried not to give him too much armor because he's just supposed to be like a traveler, which is why he also has these little like, I, I made up a story where he like collects little things from each area he goes to because you find him at different points in the game. Right. So he has like the crystals from Crystal Peak. He has like a little thing of grass from the, the Queen's Gardens or whatever it's called. Yeah. I'm so glad we all chose to do the black foreground elements. Yes. <laughs> like well, the, well, the yeah. three of us did, at least. I felt like it, it was wow. very Hollow Knight, very Dark Souls. Like I felt like it worked for both. So yeah. I, I kept with it. Oh, my God. So the shapes, just, Julia. The shapes. <laughs> I wanted him to f still feel like he was wandering around and you're just like joining him on his like, ooh, what's this sort of thing. <laughs> um, 
but I really tried to kind of make it a little bit more like busted up like it would be in Dark Souls. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of problems trying to figure out his whole tone. So you'll see me just play with the hue and saturation thing a lot in a moment. Yeah, also, any breaks in this video is because I was cackling at watching uh, the rescue dog show <laughs> uh, <laughs> at the same time. And it was very adorable. But yeah, that's like I'm trying to lighten it. And ultimately, I think like if I were to do it again, I would make him lighter because I, I went too dark. I went with like the, the Dark Souls, you know, black shadow sort of deal. Which but I feel like it gets a little too dark and confusing. My my main complaint with the game is that it's too dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too dark. You can't see anything Turn it in up. Here. I can't see nothing. I want to see all these juicy details. <laughs> I mean, I do think there's something to the fact that like, Hollow Knight is a very difficult game and Dark Souls is a very difficult game, but I kept playing Hollow Knight because I liked how it looked and I mm -hmm. stopped playing Dark Souls almost immediately because I hated how it <laughs> looked. <laughs> I really like the sound effects in Hollow Knight. For some reason, that kept getting me to go back. Just everyone's little like, oh, bum, <laughs> sort of sound effects. I love yeah. it so much. I just realized I, I forgot to put in a little detail. I had the whole. Uh, oh no! One don't detail. Don't point missing. it out. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone will know. Call the art police. I forgot to put in those little rivets in the mask. Oh, wow! No. Wow! Mm. Now you we sketched can those all in, tell. and you didn't even. I didn't even render wind up them. Rendering them. I know. <laughs> Absolute failure. Oh my god! Um, so much fabric detail already. <laughs> there's a lot of fabric, and there's a lot of fabric details. What what's your painter brush that you're using yeah. here? Yeah, I Looks use like, like the oil sets. Ultimate oil okay. lush. I see you're using. I see lush. I use lush a lot. I That's flip between one. like oil detail, oil lush. There's a few like blender ones that are in there. Um, I wind up using a lot of different brushes for this uh, whole piece. So now I'm trying to get each little each little zone. bump so yeah. that it like reads more like you know. Quirrell's belly, but also that like padded armor. Uh, I think I wind up going in and, and drawing little puffs because it's reading a little flat right now. Definitely get some more buckles in there. <laughs> get some more buckles in there. <laughs> Buckle oh, up. The other thing is that the first half of me drawing this is that I was watching uh, The King and I was looking at all of their outfits and definitely jotting down notes while I was oh, wow. drawing this. Just because I liked all the, the clothes and armors in that one. With Timothée Chalamet. Timothée Chalamet, <laughs> yes. And Robert. And, Ro and Robert. And Robert. <laughs> Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Just Robert. His, his manservant Robert. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, get those glows. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I also yeah. flip between what I'm working on a lot, and that always happens when I start getting too frustrated or confused with what I'm working on, or if I don't like a thing. That's another, um, I don't know, probably an important thing for artists to uh, know is that I think there is always a stage where you get to your in, into your piece and you're like, oh, this looks awful and I want to stop. I think you should just like push through a little bit and get it, you know, to the end, at least finish it because I learned A, a lot of things and B, I wound up liking it pretty okay at the end. I feel like yeah. part of that is just you look at something for so long. Yeah. Yeah. And you just got to get it out of your face. Yeah. I just get a lot of messages from fans being like, how do you ever finish a piece? I wind up hating the piece halfway through. And I'm like, sometimes you just got to do it. You yeah. know what it really sucks. helps is actually having to finish it for That's work. true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like if you can make a situation for yourself where you have to finish it, like yeah. you don't have a choice, then you'll end up usually pushing harder and I think discovering some new ways to do things. Yeah. I feel like I learn way more when I'm drawing something like this for Drawfee because yeah. I have to complete it. I can't <laughs> like, just stop and be like, it isn't working. I give up. Yeah. Like if I were to redo this, I, I know the things that I would change. Like I would add an actual light source because I didn't figure that out while I was actually doing it and yeah, I should have. But in Dark Souls, things. your character does often have a subtle glow yeah. to them. Um, that I did they, remember. They carry like a glowing yeah. thing. And I do like that you added the little glow. Just Thank as you. a gentle, 
just to make him push pop him a forward. Bit. Yeah, because he was getting a little lost, and I was thinking about repainting him, and I was like, I don't have time. <laughs> of course I you were. <laughs> I finished this piece an hour before you guys showed up. Nice. And I had wow. to eat lunch. So it's so cool though. This the guy's is great. like so yeah. he's so like rendered. What a scene. And I love all the the glyphs on the hanging tapestries. Yeah, it's it's like the little signs at the train stations that show you like where you're supposed to be going and what's where. And you actually did paint the damn bug carapaces on the floor like I was trying <laughs> to do and gave up on. I well, yeah, paint. but this is this is Dark Souls style. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but in Hollow Knight they do it too. Yeah. I just gave up. Uh, sometimes sometimes it's okay to give up yeah, on part of your drawing really as long hard. as you finish the rest. Yeah. And you can just try again another time. You gotta yeah. just get a product out there. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you're making content and like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but we uh, love it. We love content. I love content. But yeah, I really wanted to get that feeling that like the player slash I'm sure uh, Quirrell has when you're just wandering around Hollow Knight and you get to like a new area and you're like, ooh, shiny. What's this? <laughs> yeah, what? there's like so much to look at it's, and explore. It's, it's magical. It's kind of like that Ghibli magic that you get totally. in Hollow Knight. Yeah, this looks so good. Awesome Thank job, you. Julia. So cool. Yeah. Thanks. It's a it's a, got a lot of mood. Thanks. I really like the City of Tears. <laughs> it's it's very good. I love it's the, a very good place. The sound, the music. Yeah. yeah. Great soundtrack. I love the the gentle rain when you're outside. Yeah. It's very good. Well, these are our Hollow Knight Dark Souls mashup drawings. I hope you enjoyed watching the whole process and seeing the drawings. And if you have any ideas for other things you'd like to see mashed up or other speed draw type videos you'd like to see, you can let us know in the comments below. Yeah. And as always, we're sorry. 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 <laughs>